Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, it means a lot to me, every single one of you mean the world to me and I really want to hit 10k by the end of the year, so by subscribing you're not only supporting me, you're raising awareness for mental health. Today I'm talking about when I knew recovery was what I needed, when did I discover that my only options would give my all to recovery. <laughs> I started my recovery journey over 10 years ago and it hasn't been an easy ride. My 20s, honestly, up until I was 24, it was suicide attempt after suicide attempt after suicide attempt. I just wasn't well, and I genuinely thought the only way out of it was to commit suicide. So when did I discover that I needed to focus on recovering? I discovered that I needed recovering around when I was midway through my first section three, when I was in the primary. And the reason it was then was because I was on one-to-one -one after a suicide attempt. All my leave had been taken off me. My room was stripped. I had my stuffed unicorn, my tiny phone charger, my laptop. Oh, and a water bottle, but they have to let you have water, so. Yeah. <laughs> it was then I realised I needed to recover. And why why then? Why did it hit me then? I think it hit me then was because I knew I was gonna end up dead. If I didn't try and pull myself out of the depression that I was in. Now before you all say you can't be bipolar and have depression, I'm diagnosed with both bipolar and a depressive disorder. So take it up with my psychiatrist. The deep depression that I was in was killing me. Sooner or later, one of my attempts on my life was going to work. Because they was getting more and more serious. But what hit me the most was how much I loved my family. Now, I didn't see my family very often when I was in hospital for a year. Because I was in Ticehurst, which I'll put a map on screen of where Ticehurst is. And my family were in Telford, which is a big distance to travel. I'll put it on a map so you can see. I realised that I needed to recover because, like I said, I was going to end up dead. And I really didn't want to put my family through that. Probably around my 24th birthday, actually. Because I saw, um, I saw my family for my birthday. I don't really know what to say other than it hit me hard. I was over medicated in that hospital admission so I had the best memory of it. About around my 24th birthday was when I realised I needed to commit to recovering because I didn't want my family losing someone to suicide because losing people to suicide is never easy. I've lost three people to suicide in my life and honestly it's I think it's something you can never get over. If, if my phone doesn't stop going off, I'm gonna scream. I just posted a tweet saying I have a special interest and it's ducks. I think I've already said that I'm on here, that my special interest is ducks. I had a duck advent calendar. <laughs> I've got a duck wall calendar now. I have a duck airpod case. The last page of my scrapbook is ducks. My mum bought me duck, rubber ducks for Christmas. <laughs> Ducks are my special interest. <laughs> Off the subject of the video. So, recovery really did become important to me, and that's when I stopped trying to kill myself, and I started to have one-to-ones of staff. I tried to get out of my room more. I played chess with staff. So why choose recovering? Do it for yourself, for your loved ones. Do it so you can live the life that you want to live. There's more to life than mental illness. Giving mental illness does take up a lot of time in my life, but it by no means is my life. Honestly, all I can say is you have to want to find for yourself. Given I have had relapses, I ended up in hospital twice last year. 
honestly, it hasn't set me back. I'm genuinely happy now. I see my family fairly regularly. I see them on birthdays. And then at Christmas I spend like two weeks with them. My birthday I spend a week with them. So I do Ooh, this chair. Thank you, bye. But honestly, recovery is so worth it. Thanks for watching this video and if you're new, like at the start, subscribe, join the growing family, help support my channel. My Patreon is linked in the description down below if you want bonus videos or videos that YouTube won't let me post. You, you'd think I could post pretty much anything I want about my journey but apparently I can't. I can talk about drugs, I can talk about alcohol, I can talk about self-harm, I can talk about suicide. I can't talk about eating disorders. So, there's that. Which isn't great. But yeah, if you're new, subscribe, join the growing family. And with that, I will see you in my next video. Peace.